When you pick Fizz's Void, right, you want to burst somebody down at the start of the fight in the chronosphere and, you know, start that num start with that numbers advantage, basically. And ideally, right, before the Alchemist pick, it was Jump the Weaver. But now you get this big five-man ball coming in from LGD, and Alk's going to be sitting up front. Weaver's going to be way in the back, and it's going to be really difficult for uh, Ace mm -hmm. to kind of swing around and get that Chronosphere you really want. You don't want to Chrono an Alchemist. He's just going to reach in through all your crap. So you don't really want to go for a Spirit Vessel either in this game. If you'll, I mean, you could definitely go Spirit Vessel in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it going up onto Bat Rider eventually in this game. Very common carrier. That or Sand King. You could do it on 33 as well. There's the, uh, the quote unquote Zai build, because Zai popularized it, where you do, instead of a, a Blink Rush on Sand King, you do like the Veil Spirit Vessel, and you just fight mm -hmm. really early with like Epicenter and Sandstorm. So I have a feeling that's probably what they're going to have to do. Because this alchemist is is going to be a continuous problem throughout the whole entire game, and that uh, the spirit vessel is one of the most common counters against that. It's one of the best counters against it. Thirty Dude, seconds to it battle. Just is. You, I mean, the other one, I guess, is just getting a BKB. Oh, but you don't really, you don't really want to buy a BKB just for the radiance. What they no. do these days. And there's not, there's not really too much else that uh, NIP would really want a BKB for in this game, so. I mean, Faceless Void, eventually, Ace's build could lean up into the Monkey King bar. That's usually something that goes on Faceless's anyway. Well, he'll need a he'll need a BKB just so that Coddle's an alt on top of right. the sphere. That's, that's the big one. LGD playing aggressive for these runes. It is going to go 2-2, but they made the effort for getting all four. Nova going to be in a bit of trouble. Has roll up another seven seconds here. 3-3, three, three, getting just in range right. for the stun. It's like an inch off. Now he's in range. He will find the stun. The clicks will be there, and the roll's not going to be completed. Nova will be going down. Yeah, that's actually real good. Fada just getting the little cheap click in there. So, first blood already claimed. NIP. And, and the fact that it's on Fada is huge. She'll be... Ah, well, yeah, they did ward the ward in the mid, actually. So Alchemist is more XP that, now. That kind of... That kind of swings it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's I definitely feel like that evened it out. <laughs> it's not quite as good as First Blood, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's more experience and uh, the Nine Division is going to be huge. It's going to make it a little bit harder for Fada to kind of play in that river against Zero Spirit. Because where Alchemist doesn't really have uh, a kill threat to worry about in the form of Soxa, Fada's got to worry about a roll-in from x at any point, you know, roll-in, kick under tower, get the acid spray, reduce the armor, and a couple of body blocks and some clicks. I honestly just can't get over how much you're able to de just deny yourself as a badin. Like, I'm really surprised there's no deny gem. Like, <laughs> self-deny gem at this point. Like, I know they update gems all the time. You could easily get an updated gem to swap out whatever the, one of the least useful gems are on a Abaddon right now. That's fair. Or it could just be, like, denies. I guess. I don't know. 3-3, three, three, in a bit of trouble. Roll goes out into the top lane. He gets clicked down by Nova, so now it's 1-1 one, one even. They find the return kill. This is, sure, uh, they wanted Ame, but uh, good creep choking in the back lines here. This is one of the dangers of getting the Bro Strike level 1. Like, you do secure the first blood, which is nice, but now you don't have Sandstorm, so your lane's a lot harder because you don't have really that reliable way to Whoa. protect yourself. Roll goes out onto Fada in the mid here. They just do not have enough damage, though. The South will be going oh, through, but canceled. will be interrupted. Yeah, broken by the acid spray there. I'm going to have to ferry out another one, and so far, 12, 12 and 2 to the 6 and 2 of Fada. He's going to get a couple of creeps under tower now, so maybe even up a little bit. But still, very, very early cleanup from maybe off to a good start. He's got double brace draw already. Maybe really wanting to get that regen rune in the bot as well, but Coddle will have to take it and make sure PPD doesn't get it. Doesn't get to throw all of his spells again for the next minute and a half and die. Well, freely. Well, it looks like the lanes are uh, definitely going in the way of LGD when it comes to the CS. 
definitely the Alchemist is absolutely dominating this mid lane at 13 and 2. Like you were pointing out, 13 2 2. Well, now Viper's 13 5, so they're evened up now. Yeah, able to, oh. able to get some uh, waves under tower. The creeps were pushed in really far because the acid spray, so. Dyer's he, uh, are fortified. Wasn't really able to just kind of walk up and do whatever he wanted. Fortification expended, PPD getting low down here in the bot. Ace pretty low as well. Yeah, he just goes down to the brisk spikes. Good old Quill Spray, just going to work. <laughs> the Miss Quill on the creep. <laughs> mm. Oh man. Another easy deny for PPD. Do those? Yeah, they do count to his asshole death counter, but. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, That's like denying yourself as techies. It feels great. More punch. I think punch is a better. Oh, the punch denies. Yeah, no, the punch denies the feels great one. Almost 100% of the time. That one's kind of hard to get. Unless you're good. All right, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call you out like that. <laughs> Reveal my dirty invoker spammer nature in the chat. This is what you get. Yeah, that's how is how is being an invoker spammer a dirty thing? That that feel like you'd still you still need skill to play invoker. Like I was not meaning that in a in a disrespectful way. I've been I've been flamed by chat before for being an invoker spammer. No, yeah, whatever. I was probably flamed by chat because I'm a Skyrath spammer, but whatever. Fair. I play him as core, by the way. Speaking of spamming, can we, uh, can LGB get these runes? Three seconds. A mighty click off. Ah, Chalice is really trying, and they do not manage to get it, and Chalice now gonna be in a bit of trouble. They do find the kill on Nova up at the top lane, but Chalice with the first X spikes just quill spray going to work. PPD just out of range, but oh, they do find the cooldown reduction on him, and this puts him pretty low. <laughs> He's got salve available, seven wand charges as well. Out comes the roll from Nova after his previous death, and they won't find any kill here, the TP rotation in, but still, that being said, they killed Nova in the alternate lane in the meantime, and it was a 3-1 for NIP. Yeah, they, uh, the rotation got caught on it, but they weren't even oh. That's the route. Nova getting a beautiful snipe in the back lines on PPD, just actually, like, I think he had 20 HP away from his deny. Back up in the top jungle, however. We oh, do see Alchemist. that the Alchemist is getting pretty low. Four stacks. He will go down, but Batrider will be going down in his place as well, or supposedly. No way. <laughs> yep, there it is. And Ami rotated up. The best of jukes. That's the bigger thing, is that Ami rotated up. If Ami was just free farming during the whole thing, it could have been okay. But because he rotates up, it's it's lost farming time. Mm hmm 3-3. Three, three. Might be in a bit of trouble up here in the top lane. Just now has enough mana, though, to escape. Plus, he's got Sandstorm, so... Should be fine for the most part. There's no Sentry Ward on the high ground. So... Oh, he's chasing for the Shrine? No way. He's not going to be able to catch him. Do get the stun out the last second. 3-3 three, three, going to be healing up all the way. He'll just start channeling the TP. Cancels it the last second because oh. realizes he's perfectly fine. Or is he? Nah, he is. Nova, Nova's not going to go on him. That was a sick play from 3-3 three, three baiting up the TP. Because Ami is like, oh, he's TPing out. I'm going to have a free lane. It's going to be fine. But cancels it up and he's going to be able to mm -hmm. get back into lane as soon as he comes back into his tower. Keeper is just so strong in this lane, though. It's putting some great pressure onto the faceless at 30 and 3 with his CS. The Bristleback 44 and 3. I mean, Keeper only 5 and 1, but just having Chakra Magic, by the way, he's not even where I'm talking about anymore. But the Chakra Magic just helping out the Bristleback immensely in that lane. They do want to try for the kill on 3 3 in the mid, but. Oh, they're, they're going to find it, but. Heavy for it. Here too. It's got all they want to get the jump on Chalice. Plata drops the ultimate as well as the break, so it looks like this is a pretty dead bristle bag, especially when you get two bashes in a row coming out off from Ace there. Space for or maybe though. Every time Fada rotates away from that lane, it's it's a huge influx of gold for for maybe he's working towards the relic already. He's gonna have it 
Uh, it's probably going to be like a 13, well, with 13 minute radiance. There's not really a, a huge amount of stacks. Top tower is mm -hmm. Actually, as I say that, they do have a triple stack of ancients for him to do. Oh, they just doing move in the triangle. There's no uh, top jungle stacks, but there's a lot of bottom. Top tower Never mind. Apparently, those are for chalice. Well then. <laughs> not who I thought that was going to be going on. So, it w yeah, it will definitely be a slow radiance time, especially since Sox uh, is. Uh, Sniping out these creeps up in the top as well. Nova will find the roll, and the centaur actually gets the stomp off at the last second because the illusion rune pop off. No kill though. That that would have been insane if that landed as a kill though. Then he would have felt like, man, that that sucked. But he'll be perfectly fine. The uh, Chrono. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say the nice thing about the Optimus too is that uh, when you do get run out like that, you have the as long as you have chem rage up, it does a dispel, so you get rid of all those sticky stacks. I think that's mm -hmm. how he died uh, the last time, as he was baiting that out. And then the Sanking rotated over before he was able to actually pop the ulti. Second attempt is a bit better. Just uh, waiting on this Chrono up in the top lane here. Bash goes out onto Ame. Yeah, no Chrono going out. Just oh, quite yet. Laughs. Yeah, you time lapsed in the lane at that exact second, so this is literally just. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Just another Geminate attack would have done it. Though back in the mid, we do oh, see no. that. Oh, never mind. I thought they were going to roll onto him. They did not. However, there is an ultimate. I heard it down in the bottom, but uh, I, Chalice is just walking up. He's got his Hood of Defiance as well, and Vada. Gonna be in a bit of trouble here. Starts channeling the TP, will get the kill. The bounty runes will also be picked up in the meantime. 3 1 pickup for the bounty runes. Which is pretty huge when it comes to the fact that there's an alchemist in play. Yeah, this is. I mean, you, I, I was gonna say at the start of the game that maybe LG would prioritize the bounty runes a little bit more because they do have that alchemist, but it feels like they're not quite so worried about it. Which. You know, that's a lot of gold for an hour. It could be, you know, putting him closer to his relic. That could be that, you know, if they get the 2 2 split instead of the 3 1, maybe he has like 3,300 gold instead of this 2,800. And those little things, those little seconds add up really quickly over the case of an ability. 3 3. I'm looking to see if they can get a kill out onto the Weaver, but does TP out of here? No chrono, gonna be expended so far. I, I just wanna, I wanna be there for the first chrono. God knows I'm gonna miss it somehow. All right, don't look. But we do see. Oh. Well, I mean, I am gonna look at the net worth now that you say that though. But we do don't see do Bat Rider in a bit of trouble, down in the bot lane. But he'll be perfectly fine. Okay, can I look at it now? No, I want you to guess. All right, well, let's switch now. You can look at it now. But the oh, I was saying, oh look, the bristle. Okay, the bristle was top net worth. I was gonna say, guess who top net worth is on the on the, the map? Dyer's middle tower is under the and, uh, Well, you're gonna make me guess, so I was gonna I was going to say it was gonna be bristle, because mm. that's the only reason you would tell me to guess. Dyer's top tower is being that's fair. <laughs> PBD going down up in the top lane, the top jungle. Just getting some extra gold on that alchemist there, so don't want to be throwing those kills away. Sacred Relic up and ready. They're going to call out the courier to go to the secret shop to grab it. And uh, Ace is going to go ahead and take off the creep wave here up in the top lane so they can get aggression on the top tower. So they can start placing some aggressive top lane wards. Fada Haste and coming in to fly. Or FY, not fly. Fada can't find the ultimate though, but down goes the Will O' Wisp, but yeah, it will not be enough to save him. The lasso down is, well, never mind, it will be enough to save him, he'll just walk on out of there perfectly fine. PPD with no ultimate available up either, he goes down, so, alright, beautiful Will O' Wisp holding him over and <laughs> just stood. Ten stick charges on a Fada is, that's like a quarter of your HP. It's true. It's a big boy. And this is, you know... Oh, maybe they find him? Are they going to finally drop Chrono Top? I don't think they'll expend it for a Keeper, plus he's extremely slow. They find the Bash, and they're perfectly fine with letting that one go the way it did. Sox, uh, maybe in a bit of trouble, but... Crystal back. 
What are, actually, I saw him going for a Lotus, so he's going for he's got pipe, which is definitely a very good item in this game, almost indefinitely. Get rid of the uh, sticky bomb power. stacks. Has Get rid of fun. the Atos that's going to be coming out from the Viper. And potentially reflect back. Oh, and also get rid of the um, time dilation as well. Time dilation, a very annoying ability for both Bristol as well as Weaver. We have a lot of low, low cooldown abilities that you need to be able to spam in order to live in a fight or do damage in a fight. So the Lotus to remove that is huge. As well as you have the potential to potentially reflect back the uh, lasso or the barrel strike, which would be. Yeah, of course you want that. Hmm. So, got the radiance on and uh, to up and online. So, just about, yeah, just about at the point of your prediction time, but we also weren't really expecting them to not prioritize bounty runes in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I so. mean, also the fact that Soxa was the one that cleaned up the massive amount of stacks in that jungle. Or not Soxa, uh, Chalice. No, no, that was the big thing. Well, to be fair, it's not like Chalice didn't put the money to good use. It's true. Pipes are really good, and he's going to go for the mech, which uh, it's also going to be really good in this game. Will-O-Wisp goes down. It's really only going to be catching back because PPD doesn't really care. However, now they do have everyone else coming in here. Beautiful stun going out on the bat. He's going to be in a bit of trouble. They do find the disarm. The Chrono is available, but they're really just trying to find the opportune point in time. He's not available for another second here in Ace. Mask of Madness stuff to kill off the creep. He actually dies. They do manage to find the kill, though the epicenter comes through doing immense amount of damage. 3-3 three, three, getting three kills, but will be trading his life off as well. Ame going down and PPD up on the high ground looking for the deny. I don't think he'll be able to find it in time. Nope, he finds it because FY will throw another click at him. The only one really to live. Okay, they're going to get... Yeah, they oh, get the three bounty runes. Well, maybe. Nah, he won't be able to. He might be able to find the kill on FY, though. He's got another second left on Firefly. Nah, he's just going to have to leave that one be for now. It's not worth diving this tower for. But uh, three kills for three kills against the Alchemist Radiant is, bottom tower is pretty good for an MVP when you're behind like that. Oh, there's the Chrono. There's the Chrono. All right. So they do manage to find the Chrono kill. So they still manage to get him. That's the first Chrono. Yeah. 100%. I have not missed a Chrono. I know this. <laughs> I love that that's the concern. <laughs> it's not, oh, they've been holding on to this for a while. It's like, I got it. Got the first I got the first chrono. I could, I could die happy now. Uh, what? <laughs> so we do, we do see the veil on 33, but he's going back for the blink dagger first. It's like maybe... So no spirit vessel just yet. Yeah, no maybe they're just not. Yeah, maybe they're just not looking at the alchemist as a as a complete threat right now. But he'll be a pretty big threat, like really darn soon here. If he's not already, gonna have the mantis soon. They are starting to threaten towers across the map, though, closing off that map control. Uh, especially the big thing is to take. They took that mid tier one, so closing in this top side of the map. Right, this is where you want to be playing if you are on the Radiant. And closing in that uh, cool. towers up there is huge. Ace finds the jump on FY. 3-3 looking for the ideal stun point. FY just slowed up because he's hit with that good old time dilation. Well, Wisp goes down though, but he still manages to fall. And the Wisp... It's 100 and, uh, just 100 gold actually going down. But now, oh, man, the Viper is going to be caught off in the back lines. Fada... I think uh, NIP will have to disengage from this one. They get, they gotta go. Yeah, I mean it's a really scary position right now for them, and they don't have their Bat Rider. They don't have Chrono. Yeah, they don't have Chrono. This much I know. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as that, uh, as soon as that little green diamond shows up again under Void, he's just gonna have a, a, a steady cam fixed to him. Yeah, if I don't already. <laughs> <laughs> Blink Dagger, almost up for the Sand King, by the way. So that'll be the next big thing for the next big team fight that we're looking at, which will be based off the next Chrono as well. The Veil of Discord will help it with the big team fight. It all comes back around. Okay, it all will come in full circle. Rod of Atos, though, is not going to be picked up for the Viper in this game. He's going to skip it. He's going to end up going into the Pipe of Insight instead. Interesting. I mean, they do have a lot of magic damage. 
to the gradients and the units. Lasso out on the Keeper of the Light. Will they be able to find the ideal bashes? Yeah, they definitely do. Now will they be able to kill Chalice is the question, and that, that one's not happening. They'll have to have Viper there, but he's not there, so... In reality, they're just clicking him a bunch. That fight's having a really tough game. It's just so squishy, and as soon as that time dilution gets put on him... Normally, Coddle's like, oh, he's a speedy old man, he can run away, but... Time dilution is just absolutely ruining him. It's one of the reasons I think that uh, Chalice is... What was brushing? He's actually going back for a neck of his own. So they are gonna All right, I didn't think that was actually going to result result in the kill, but because I saw that he had his ultimate available, and I'm like, ah, oh, I don't need to go down there. He'll be fine. And then he died. And now the urn is going to get picked up. That's the blink dagger reveal from mm -hmm. three. It's going to go for the urn. Got the wind lace already uh, set up, so you can have the spare pistol. But the manta is online for the op, so the timings don't quite match up. Mm -hmm. Know they're gonna miss the reveal, as well as the stun out on 3 3 in the bot lane here. Alchemist stunning himself, hiding in the trees, so making sure nobody saw it. We saw. We saw me. I totally didn't see it. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, mech is going to be completed now on the Bristleback. It's going to be Greaves for him, so I guess that's going to be his way of dealing with... I was going to... I, I guess he was going to say the uh, Atos, but we talked about how the Atos isn't happening. So it's really... I guess they're just... Uh, it's the time dilation and the Napalm. But I, in this scenario, I think it's more the time dilation. Yeah. Because the Napalm hasn't really been much of an issue for them so far. Like, there's a lot of ways they already have to uh, kind of disable it. I mean, Bristleback kind of just runs really fast anyway. Just casts a bunch of spells and he moves fast. Doesn't fix his turn radius, but... Still, there's there's a lot of ways. They can just roll through it with the Earth Spirit. And like, we were, like you were pointing out in the draft, Weaver literally will never be concerned about it. Yeah, much bigger problem A, during the laning phase, and B, on a core bat rider rather than the... Uh, Soxa, the bigger issue for uh, dealing with this bat rider is going to be the blink lasso that's coming out soon. So that time dilation is going to be very annoying. And FY is this like feels like FY is going to be the next lasso target. I can just feel it. They're saving up for the gem of true sight. Likely to just do D warding because there's no invis heroes. So. Yeah, I mean, this whole this whole jungle actually on the side of the Dire is completely warded. Speaking of warded, though, they see this aggressive smoke on the back lines of this Alchemist. And they do manage to reveal. Nova sitting up on the high ground. No blink dagger for this one. Roche, is, uh, Roche was the big objective that we were kind of talking over while it happened, but now that... And if you have it... They do jump in though, they threw a big will -O wisp down on the Fada, and now he's full magnetized, brought back into the will -O wisp actually, he drops the ultimate to try and confirm something going on here, but no chronosphere going down for this one, they just can't fight under that will -O wisp so they'll have to leave Fada be. And there's not really much they'll be able to do to find any return kill on this one. He is just so tanky though, like, it was it was Chalice and, and maybe just punching on him the whole time, but he had the pipe and the uh, mech going. Once he has the Greaves too, it's going to be really hard to to take this Viper down. Like, imagine that fight, but with the full NIP roster there, and you turn that around with, like, a Chronosphere and an Epicenter and stuff. You focus that much on this Viper, and you're going to get caught out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, quick now. Yeah, I'm sure just whatever Viper's next item will be, which is Greaves, so that's pretty standard. The Greaves will actually help him in that team fight. If he, I, I want to think that if he actually had Greaves, he might have survived. Oh, I think he would have. If, if either A, he had Greaves, or B, uh, Ace felt like that could have been a fight, and they could have turned it around. Like, he just drops Corona there. Ace, Ace had the opportunity. They just deemed that it wasn't worth it, so they just left Fauna behind and took forever to kill him, so everyone got away safely. Yeah. But it's one of those things where, even though you don't want to, you have to focus down that Viper because the break is both going to amplify the damage. So between the break, uh, or the Nether Toxin and the Veil, it's a bunch of magic damage getting amped that you don't need to deal with. 
and it's negating your Bristleback's tankiness, so you have to deal with that Viper. But you don't want to deal with the Viper. <laughs> you want to ignore the Viper. It's another scenario where it's like, you have to kill the necessary evil. Yeah. Damn if, do, you, if you don't. Right, they do find the Alchemist. But well, since there's the Radiance obviously there. on him, all is he's just too close to that illusion breaking his blink, but they do manage to find at least the Earth Spirit, so... They're not leaving empty-handed, but they're not leaving with the hand of which they wanted. Very, very good rotations around the map from... Uh, LGD's done a really good job of taking smart engagements since, since that Roche happened. They lost uh, they lost a couple of fights. They lost, Well, the big one was uh, this this fight at top, right? They, they lost that fight. They just kind of overextended a little bit. And ever since then, they've taken very smart engagements. We don't want to fight into... Uh, an IP when they have all their heroes grouped together. You want to try and just force them to split up the map. That's why you've never seen Ame and maybe really in the same spot since then. Ame's been farming top, maybe he's been pushing the bottom. Now they don't feel super safe bottom, so they're a little bit closer together. But now you have so uh, FY pushing in top, and this is getting the well, defense as much bottom. They're getting ready for a high ground push, but they're still putting pressure around the map. And I believe it is. And not in a Speaking of that added pressure as well, Ace is going to have his BKB, so we, he will be able to fight under the next Will-O-Wisp. Through his Chronosphere, he'll be able to burst down the Alchemist and the Spirit Vessel online as well. Obviously no charges quite yet, but uh, any one kill, which will be the eventual pickoff on poor FY, will uh, get that soul thief going here. Oh man, a bit of trouble though. It is going to be lassoed up immediately into the epicenter. They will find the kill, but Ace goes down. They buy back him. He immediately time lapses in there, and now they're looking for at least some kill. This they want to make that buyback back worth it, and well, Soxia will go down. Everyone TPing on out of there. Yeah, they did get Ace, and they're actually going to be able to grab this top bounty rune, and now it's actually going to be Alchemist jumping onto PPD here. Have to, have to, just that final time. In fact, this is this is actually a turning around completely, though. BKB will be expended. Magnetize goes down as well. They do have the stun, but everyone's in this. But there is a sentry there. They will find it. And the will o wisp catching all three of them. They do manage to find the stun out onto Nova. The roll will not be able to make it. Bit, so they bit ambitious, or maybe does end up catching at least. Oh, actually, he didn't, he didn't catch anybody. They, uh, they all live. It's just trying there. So, a bit ambitious, able to live, does cost him his 10 second DKB. I guess a bit of recovery space for Ame. But that's uh, two, your two big team fight ulties on cooldown for the next little while. They've got Chronosphere still available. So, LG is going to have to be a little bit more careful at this point. They, they have a big timing window where Nip can just run at them, take a good fight, and potentially just push, that, push into high ground. And there is a smoke available and on PPD, so if they're not looking to get a kill on somebody, which could end up being this Bristleback, they're not too careful. There's the lasso. They don't want to chrono this, though. They do manage to bring him back. They drop the Sand King stun. Yeah, they don't need to chrono. He's dead. And now they have chrono still available. They want to go for a kill. And the toxin's just so good against Bristleback. Definitely. Just, it, it's nice to not have to build a Silver's Edge. Uh, FY not getting hit by uh, time dilation there. But uh, they're going to start wailing on this tower here. They want to force the Bristle buyback. I don't think they're really going to be able to do that, though. Alchemist will just come on in and, in fact, start channeling the stun. Will Manta dodge it and just throw out the Manta illusions for now. Crowd loves a Manta dodge. Crowd likes a Manta dodge? What? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll play Alchemist, so I, I have no idea what you were trying to allude to. It's there. uh no, it's I, I just remember that it's it's a in joke from a different crowd. Different mm. group of people that I hang up with. Other I have other casters with them you in life PD. Really? Because when I asked you about this, you were down. Like you had nothing else you were doing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, we have fun here. We do. Uh, taking a look at the wards, though. Right now, map's pretty dark for ninjas. They have the one ward kind of in this jungle here, and they have this one underneath the tier three, or uh, kind of in the lane. 
looking to spot out maybe any deep smokes. Other than that, their map's pretty dark, their own jungle, and actually their vision's gonna get dewormed, FY, with that gem making it very mm -hmm. difficult to keep it on the map. LGD's vision, not much better though. They have this kind of tinker board at the bottom. This one 33. Finds the stun on the Bristleback, but they do not want to chrono this, but there is an Arcane Rune up, and they, they kind of want to chrono with an Arcane Rune. BKB, he's, he's gonna have to BKB immediately into chronoing if he wants to go for this now, but he's gonna have to let it go. The bash out, or the stun actually out on the PPD. The blink, but immediately into the remainder of the sleep, they drop. Oh, they got Ame. Oh, they drop the chrono, they find Ame. Can they find it in time though? They get the stun, the epicenter goes through. They need another break going down onto this bristleback, and there it is. Yeah, they'll find it as well as the spirit vessel, so. And all this was under the arcane room too, so the BKB will be back up pretty quick and the Chrono will be back up slightly quicker. It's still a pretty long cooldown overall. Yeah, the... <laughs> the Alchemist pick was really good from LGD. Unfortunately, their solution, their solution to that is just ignore the Alchemist. He pops BKB, oh. he gets ulted by Fada, and then they just go on Ame every time. Poor FY, he's getting picked off so many times this game. He will still go down, Ace bursting away. In fact, he's gonna be able to find the kill on to maybe, but nah, maybe he's not gonna get bashed. Roll goes out by Nova, and he rolls directly into the, the face of the enemy. And, well, he'll be fine. Stun goes out though. Concoction will still land, and PPD lands the ultimate, just making sure he's not gonna get jumped on here. Break out on the Alchemist, so it's not gonna change any of this team fight. Now we do have the Bristle back coming back in, but. Alchemist all slowed up, hit with the uh, times three time dilation there. They and that hurts too. It's a long ult respawn. They just don't have the damage right now. Ame is all of their damage. He's got this medallion. He's got the defusal. He can hit hard. They just keep oh no! These fights. Maybe. In a bit of trouble again here. They do have Ace coming in. The BKB is active, but the BKB goes out onto Ace. They want to find at least one return kill here. Chrono is up also. Now that the uh, since the Arcane Rune helped him out with that one, the break goes out. The bashes are there, but they do find the lasso as well. They want to get the double Chrono. They get a triple when Fada throws down the break to kill off the Bristleback indefinitely. And they do manage to find off Chalice though. Next stun being channeled up. Alchemist kinding return, but it is going to be purged away. But the Wither Witch goes down. BKB not up. We saw during the Chrono Sphere, so we are going to see the Manta dodge up the stun again. Those Sasuke getting pretty low. Spirit the Spirit Vessel going to work. The turn radius not really helping him out either, and he's getting pretty low. He's got to really escape from this. 3 3. Can't really find him. He already blinked in. Can't find the next Spirit Vessel charge. He has no charges left. They're going to disengage from this one. They don't lose that much off of this, excluding the fact they expended all of their teamfight ultimates and, well, the gold change craft is actually very much showing in their favor. They're just so tanky. There's so much sustain between PvP and Fauna. Like, and then you have Ace, you know, just constantly getting that time lock off. It's so hard to actually just lock somebody down and focus them. And again, LGD, very light on stuns. They, it's just the alchemist really. They have the the sleep from the from FY, but it feels like the Will O Wisp has not really done anything since that first one that was dropped top where he still died, but they were able to clean up the back lines. Like since that first one, it feels like they just haven't had any damage or control. And now we're going to see Alchemist in a bit of trouble inside the Roche pit because they think the Roche is going on. The BKB goes down immediately. Cast. They, find the yeah, the, they need to find a kill, but Sasuke actually gets forced to the high ground thanks to the Keeper of the Light. They kill the Courier, which had a good portion of a Monkey King bar in it. That's something at least. I mean, they don't know what's in it, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're happy with the fact the Courier's dead. The the but issue that's... right now, honestly, is that Ami's going for this utility build. He, he went for this medallion, which I kind of liked. It's like, okay, early damage, you get to poke and prod. Now he's committing for the full Solar Crest. Well, Solar Crest is really good. I like it a lot. Uh, they do manage to find Bristleback. They don't have the break available just yet, but he's just getting bashed into Oblivion. Little this gets thrown down. No BKB going out just yet by the Faceless. They want to at least kill off the... Uh... Oh, well, they're just going to actually find the kill on Chalice. Are they, though? He's just on the edge of that break. He still will go down. 33 Spirit Vessel Charge going out onto the 4 poor Earth Spirit. He just dropped the good Magnetize into a good Silence, but it's not going to be enough. Chrono's ready and Epicenter's ready. And they do see that maybe 
Yeah, maybe he's walking away, so we're gonna see the walk into Roshan. Do they know? I mean, they obviously know what's up now. Uh, pretty easy, Roshan. LGD can't really contest this with no Will O Wisp, and Alchemist with uh, his ult already going, so not too much. Actually, Alk's working on his first Dagon of Scepter. It's gotta go on Weaver. If you're gonna go for the full utility Weaver build, that's, that's the solution. He's going for the Nullifier now, so he's gonna start ramping up damage once he has it, but he's so far. He's got 900 gold total right now. This Roche is falling way too quickly from the Weaver. That's the only caught a lot of fighter on his pit. So, <laughs> it barely get kills already. Now you have an Aegis and Cheese. And mm -hmm. Aegis, and I mean, who's the Cheese going? Bottom. I believe it's on, yeah. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> I mean, they need a Spirit Vessel of their own, I guess. And there was, at, at one point, of the why. Actually, I think Weaver still goes for that build. Sometimes you see that instead of the Medallion, you see them end up going for that Spirit Vessel. But obviously they weren't really thinking, well, not weren't thinking, but the, like, that's not the biggest issue. Yeah, I mean, behind just getting an item for one hero, like Spirit Vessel, super good for NIP. This whole entire game for every hero. Yeah. But they weren't gonna get it just for the Viper. So. Yeah, I don't know how you kill him. He's a really strong boy. That eight percent spell life steal, even though it doesn't seem like a lot, it. It helps him in almost every single team fight. His extremely strong sustainability from that. He's just got all these utility items. He's got the force staff with the pipe. Now he's got cheese. So, yeah, yeah he'll be a pretty hard hero to kill. Nobody is an easy kill for, for LGD, right? Like, you have this this BKB on Optimus that's already almost down to the five second charge, and when you buy a BKB, you want to pop it and kill somebody during that duration. Right? Or at least live long enough that you can turn that fight around. But who do you actually kill? PPD's gonna have ult. Ace has time lock. Sox is so mobile. He's got only four staff drums. He's not going in there. Sand King has invisibility. He's got Veil. He's got Burn. It's our spirit vessel. He's gonna have a Shiva soon. I'll take your tribute. And then there's and then Fada. <laughs> who do you actually kill on, on LGD? During the speaking detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a very hard game for LGD. They still definitely have room to, to make a recovery. The Alchemist Scepters will make a pretty big difference, in my opinion. Speaking of which, he gave, a, he gave one to Weaver already. Weaver does have his axe. Cool. Yeah, so Weaver getting the first axe makes perfect sense. Like you were saying, it's the full utility build Weaver. Be able to get off his time lapse. On his allies. That's yeah. the thing, right? Now, as long as Ami is alive, you have the capability to potentially reset a fight. If he doesn't get prone, well, uh -oh. Tristleback caught off. Gonna be broken down, stunned up as well, and no Weaver within range for that reset. They will have to buy back on him and bring him back into the fight by TPing onto the tower. Really long TP. Still broken as well, but. They're going to just disengage from that one. They don't want to go quite yet. They want to wait for another opportunity to get Chalice, but obviously they don't have a lasso and they're waiting for the opportune Chronosphere. The stun not going to find anything either. This this is just going to be a lot of back and forth. Well, maybe he walks into the mid here. Maybe trying to bait out some spells here. They missed the stun on 3-3 and <laughs> there's the Sari going out as well. Maybe this Ooh, is that fun. looks like a triple stun. There is a Chrono in the back lines as well as a little wisp in the front though, and Ace just going to work as well as the epicenter is claiming a lot of here, but on the front lines we do see Sasuke going down here, but I don't think Devana just gets destroyed actually. Just gets burned down immediately, not able to pop the cheese. The buyback going out as well out on the Earth Spirit. We do see Ace just ditching ASAP 33, trying to TP out, but there goes the stun. He'll be caught up as well, so Concoction claiming his life as well, but they find the kill now. Yes. So they do oh, get the yes. Agonim's reset. Oh, that was so clutch. Okay, and she's back in it. That's a huge kill. That was the gem. That was a godlike streak on 33. The, the Ag's Weaver paying for itself, man. He's able to reset himself, pop his DD, pop his BKB, scare Ace away. Ace was getting ready to man up on Ame, and then come in clutch and save uh, maybe 
LGD's got some breath back in them, man. And they didn't lose a tower. They didn't lose a tier three. They're still holding on to all their buildings. All they lost out of that was the uh, first attack buyback in terms of uh, mm. objectives. And since the crystal back's not dead, it's, it's definitely beneficial in almost every way, shape, and form. So, who do you think this next Agnum Scepter is going to? Uh, Probably Bristle, because Keeper, I think, already saw... Yeah, Keeper's already building one, so... Well, he's got the two other pieces oh, yeah, he does. and I don't know if the orbs in the courier. Yeah, so the orbs in the courier. So bristle back makes sense that it's the next one, in my opinion, because then you just have the would, AoE snot. I would say it's actually X Nova. You think it'd be the uh, Earth, Earth Spirit Stone form? Yeah, the well, because it's the again, it's more safe, right? It's last through Chronosphere. That's that's true. That's basically it. I did forget about that part. <laughs> you, as long as they don't get three man chronoed again, right? You have. The two two reset abilities basically. Either I time lapse you, or I turn you into stone. You're immortal. You're not going anywhere. If, you, if you're positioned near the edge of the chronosphere, maybe I can get a sweet kick as well. But realistically, it's just the fact that you are immortal for those mm -hmm. like three seconds or whatever, however long it is. Now we've got the Lotus on to Chalice, so it's even harder to kill, harder to lock down. Late game Alchemist. It's never to be underestimated. 14. Yeah, this is definitely the alchemist effect. 100%. Oh, he's walking towards Bristol. Mm -hmm. Alright, you were right. Alright, so AoE snot. They can end up getting more of his uh, warpath going, so more attack speed and more damage. And I guess... Uh, I guess in this game you might want to go for the Warpath damage per stack, but uh, like the Spell Life Seal is the pretty standard thing for Bristleback at 25. I, th I think if you have the free eggs, so if you, you, you go the Warpath eggs, and you just you start clicking for like three, four hundred a, a hit, mm. it's actually insane how much Warpath Warpath really adds up when you can just spam it. So you get you, have, you get up to like eight or nine stacks, and you're getting 34 damage per stack. Is that after the eggs? That is the Did he go for the... No, he didn't go for the six max good stacks and the, the quill damage, but... He'll be hitting pretty hard soon enough. Uh, we do see that maybe he's gonna start clicking away on PPD. They do have the ultimate going out on to maybe, though. He's already broken as well, but... It's not gonna change anything, though the epicenter does come through on the back line trying to find the keeper, but they reset him! They do have Ace coming in at the last second. The BKB is going to be expended to try and prevent anything from... Ace just getting caught off anywhere, and Ace just gonna jump through, but Chalice is just clicking away. He's just burning him away in the back lines, and... Well, they find the kill, or, or do they? They're trying to find the kill on Chalice. They find the kill on Chalice. 3-3, three, three, silent, si silence is stunned up in the back lines. Ame, BKB, trying to buy some time, but it's not gonna find anything either. So Fizzle back down. No lasso available. They want to try to find the kill. They get the slow onto poor FY. He pushes them away, and Nova rolls on out of there. Perfect push, in fact, so... God, never mind. That fight still... Still eats the dirt. So... He has Agam Scepter for that one as well, but it wasn't really going to change much of the team fight. Yeah, Ace popped the BKB, but didn't actually have mana for the Chrono, so he ended up just using his BKB to run around and... You know, trying to hit things. Eventually, that ended up working out, but that could have been really bad. I think this is going to be maybe a lane for NFT. Might just be the tower. Let's see how hard they want to commit. They do have Chrono, they don't have Epi for another 20 seconds. The other thing, too, is, is that they kind of, at this point, they want to catch the Weaver as well as like trying to catch Alchemist, but mostly they, they really want to make sure that the Weaver is either in the Chrono or, or dead. Because that Weaver will just reset him almost every time. The same thing with the Air Spirit too, so actually, like you were saying, there's a lot of reset availability options. And they now have to account for making sure that they're either dead or in the Chrono. This is going to be the lane. I don't think they can go for two. They might feel confident enough to go for it, but they do their ults back online. They do drop a stun out onto Alchemist. He doesn't have a ult available, but reset. He'll be brought back out to the outside. And do the last are available, but yeah. They, yeah, they're definitely going to be able to get two here. But that's it. Like, they'll have to leave. Actually, they're leaving off of the ranged. Their melee racks leaving the ranged alive. Yeah, PPD's actually so tanky. 
He's gonna have a crimson, he's got the medallion and he's got a Vlad's. Let's have it on me. Hmm. Really strong. I do like the Crimson Guard here. We haven't really been talking about too much of what PPD has actually been building. He's just, he's kind of just always been there, and his presence is is never ignored. He's the he's the silent guardian, just constantly spamming the spoil ever since the laning fades. Just spam, 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 spam. Hey, I mean, if it ain't broke, yeah. just spam the hell out of it. Because yeah. it's not if it ain't broke, don't fix. Because that that's not how Dota works. Small indie company, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Butterfly will be the next thing up for Ace. It looks like we're going in hard, so no buyback available for him. And uh, Roshan is up. Don't is it, think the they could. It is the Ags. It is the Ags shard. Well, actually, it's the full Ags. So. Yeah. At first, I thought Less when I. Yeah. At first, when I when I looked at it, I thought it was just the upgrade recipe that you got off of Roche? No, it's a whole freaking eggs. Yeah, if you so. don't have one, it will just give you an eggs. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the Ace will pick Roche. up... Nope, they're not picking up the DD. Okay, they're picking up the DD, they're gonna do Roche. So, let's see, who picks up... I wanna think, I want Ace to pick it up, because I don't think Double Lasso is that great. Um, uh, Sand King is pretty Sand King, good, yeah, Sand King distance stun plus caustic finale application. But it's pretty good. Yeah, you're gonna wanna, wanna go for that one. So yeah, he picks it up, picks up the Aegis cheese as well, and oh, they get the reset just in time, but the Chrono goes down. They do manage to find at least one, but he's actually BKB, so he can't turn him into stone, and he didn't need it anyway. Ace though, getting clicked down. He's actually removing the heck out of this Alchemist. Maybe in a huge bit of trouble here. The BKB though does manage to come off the last second, still slept at that last little bit here. They really want that Alchemist, but he's just out of there. The break's gonna be thrown down onto the Earth Spirit. They'll be going down indefinitely here. So, they do manage to find one. They TP out the Alchemist. They just try to get him back in the base as soon as possible. Ultimate thrown down on the Chalice, but he's just not getting bashed up enough. Just not dying enough. She's got a lot of regen. <laughs> now he's just throwing snot everywhere. He's just like, look at me go. Keep away comes through. It's not daytime, so it's not gonna get the heal off. Sun goes through, Ace gonna be caught off with that one. They do have a very nice actually they just negated that whole entire epicenter just by doing the good old keeper push. Yeah, it uh, canceled the blink dagger with the damage. Hmm. So I'll just pushing him back with blinding light, so I forgot it does damage. Two hundred of it. Yeah. All you need is uh, enough to cancel blink. Mm -hmm. I mean Algae's not out of it yet. They still have one more eggs they can give, plus, I mean, I don't... I mean, they can get moon shards, I guess, too, on Alk. He's still sitting top net worth. He's gonna have a basher soon. He's actually got a full meal near. This man is going for attack speed. He's got the chem rage based attack time as well, so he's gonna be bashing like a madman once mm -hmm. he gets that. I do like to see those builds. He just watch him go ham for a solid, like, 20 seconds. Not really 20 seconds, really. Just You see him go ham, and then either he dies or he lives. Yeah. Most of the time he lives. <laughs> Most of the time he lives. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, sometimes you see him even go for the lifesteal build and get, like, this tannic. They swap it out with, like, the blink dagger or something like that. Yeah. And the, the big thing there is that it's it's locked down, right? That's, that's their big problem right now. They don't have reliable stunts. The chem rage, you can't channel it for long enough to, for it to actually last and it keeps getting purged off by PPD so now you can you know, check out the unstable precautions get it purged off and then you have Ooh. the abyssal to follow up it's getting a little cocky yeah. there but it's, it's PPD man. this year this year was so ridiculous yeah, the shield. fact that it's a strong dispel is insane and I mean that that's, that's what you do if you want to nerf a bad and you make it a basic. Yeah. It's a 4.8 second dispel. Or cooldown. Well, I mean, it is a 4.8 second dispel. Yes, well, in, in technicality, it's up every 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know where you were going for. Every 5 I know seconds, it. you are you are safe. <laughs> and it also Every 5 you, seconds, you know die. Yeah. And it also gives you an extra 200 HP. Until 25, then it's 500 for uh, HP. For 25 HP. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's math. Anyway, 
Ace not popping BKB for the Duke. Find a really good stun, but he's muted immediately, so he can't turn on the BKB, but it is going to be perched off. Ace is going to try to jump out at the last second, but he's actually caught. He just goes down to a three-man stun. Oh. This is maybe just clicking away. BKB, he can't save him today. Oh. Sox in the back line's going down as well. Muted up out onto Wasteless Void. Brought to the sidelines. No mana for Chronosphere. Activates BKB. What's that going to do, though? He jumps out one last time. He starts to channel the DP. He gets caught with the roll from Nova. He's going down. That's four dead. The only one alive. Fat Rider escaping creeps in the base, though. But it's not going to do anything. They get all the heroes. This is exactly what LGD need. And they're just going to start running down mid. The nullifier reveal on Ame, man, would just totally screw them. They were waiting for the BKB. They're like, it's fine. You know, PPD could just purge off uh, whatever the stun. So out chucks out the unstable concoction. Immediately the shield comes out for PPD. As soon as that shield comes out, nullifier, and they just jump. Fantastic team fight from LGD. Excellent coordination. And they were able to bait out the BKB so that when he did time jump, it wore off by the time he started DPing. They still had the bugs on, so they had the vision for uh, next over to roll in, cancel it up, and now, all of a sudden, LGD on the opposite side of the map, and they're forcing buybacks. They're pushing two threes. And this is the first tier three they're going to be able to claim. They'll take off the shrines. And, by the way. Yeah, he's, he's hitting pretty dang hard going for that warpath damage. They do manage to find the lasso on the Weaver, but he's got reset when he wants it. They do find the silence in because of the... It's because of the Lotus. Yeah, I, I lost it. I was going to say Lincoln's, but it was a Lotus that got the refresh, reset on that one. So great blocking off that stun. They do have the Viper coming in, though, but they lose these barracks, and they're just going to walk over to mid now. LGD, they're taking this advantage and going home with it. Well, now they're really going home. So much damage on this Bristleback. Yeah, you really weren't getting. Yeah, it's... I, I was actually wrong. I said three or four hundred. He's actually hitting for when he has nine stacks. It's like six fifty. Yeah, I saw he's five twelve at seven stacks. Or, uh, eight stacks. So five twelve at eight stacks plus one thirty seven base. Yeah. So a lot. Enough. <laughs> TLP, a lot. Um, yeah. If you take a look at the win probability too. Um, oh yeah, let's look at that chart. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty jumpy chart there. That, uh, that's one right back around. Uh, net worth has always been in favor of FLHP, but they have an alchemist, so I think that's inflated. I think the XP chart tells a much better story of how this game has gone. Uh, yeah, this. For a while there, is LGD's game, they were doing good, and then Nick started taking some really good fights, and then it kind of jumps back off the cliff. I think that was around uh, the first egg reveal, because that first, that big spike down. Towards LGD, climbs back up, they take a couple racks, and then jumps back off a cliff in favor of LGD. Yeah, now I'm, I went back to the win probability chart. It, it's actually just slowly going back down into the 50% marker. It's, it's a close game. This is 50 this minutes is... in, and I am edging my seat excited for this. <laughs> yeah, it's a 51 minute game with 25 key net with each LGD, and uh, no, they get up, they get it reflect off the. Uh, the Viper ultimate from Vada, and now they're looking for the stun, maybe, looking... Yeah, he, he finds the stun on Vada. Oh, He's gonna be perched off by PPD, but on the back lines there is a Chrono going down, but it's in the weirdest spot possible. Oh, and they do find a perfect stun, they're clicking away! That's the damage, the mute as well! The sleep just killing off 3-3, that's a dieback for him. Vada next on the to-do list. He's gonna be in a bit of trouble here, PPD trying his best to purge, but he can't save Vada today! There's the cheese though, the first stab, not gonna bring him to the high ground, muted up, stunned again! He's dead as well. That's a die back too. They can just go for end here. They can go for end. They go for PPD. No ultimate available for another five seconds. He's just getting picked down. Ace. No refresher or anything like that. But he is fighting a lot of good bashes on Chalice. If he can find the kill, that'd be great. But there's no possible way. They find the Bat Rider off the sidelines too. Alchemist prepping up concoction, but he doesn't have Blink available. In fact, it looks like it must be on the Courier. Do manage to Manta Dodge it, does have an Aghanim Scepter Synth in his pocket. They are still looking for Soxa though. I mean, not able to find them, the Keeper Wave, not going to be able to click him off either, but they do. They do see them. They do have the Alchemist in the back lines, but they're not paying attention to the fact that they just lost their last tier 4. 
They made me know that it is now when Batrider buying literally so much time. Yeah, he's TPing back. He's like, hey, guys, losing the game here. That would have been the most embarrassing end to this room. He climb all this way back in. He takes such great fights. And you die to... And you die to two super creeps and two range creeps. Well, LGD... They're, they're taking this advantage as much as they can here. They're going to clean up this racks, and I think they definitely have the opportunity to go for complete megas here. Yeah, 30 seconds left on Fada. Chrono is out, but, like, they, they need Fada for Chrono. Like, they need the Nether Toxin going down. It's not 25, though. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no. No! I'll admit, he's got a rape here. Oh my goodness, he actually killed off the Weaver, picked up Rapier, and he's seeping out of there. The Weaver had some Rapier, now they do find Alchemist though. They drop the Refresh onto the Lasso, they do manage to find him, the Clicks are going to be there, and they do manage to find the kill out onto Maybe, the will o -Wisp not going to save him. They need to retreat right now. You, you bought back on Ame already, you do not want to buy back on the Alchemist as well. This Rapier on Ace could be the way back in for Nip. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying way back in for them, but... Mega creeps are coming. Yeah, they'll need a lot of wave clear, and the mega creeps just going to continually apply that pressure. There's, there's still pretty decent wave clear on Nip. In fact, they've, they've got, they've got really decent wave yeah. clear. They can, they just, uh, they can't wave clear and fight heroes. Yeah, they can hold. I worry about their push. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could definitely hold. I, I just do not see them being able to, like, make an aggressive play right now. Like, there's no way they could force this out on this buyback. But Chrono is back online and actually in IP smoke in the back lines. Ace does not have buyback. It's available on cooldown, but he is bought out for his Satanic. He is all in right now. Which, I mean, you have a rapier, so it makes sense, but it's still... If he gets caught out, that's a rapier down and no buyback on Ace. The Dire Courier scouting out the fact that the Roshan is online, so NIP. Oh my goodness, is this... Is he gonna try to chrono the... There's no way he has enough damage to chrono the... He has to catch the Ancient. Ame. If he if he catches Ame, then this game might be over for LGD. At this point, this is just he hits BKB and starts hitting the Ancient, but he's bashed up. He hits the BKB and he starts smacking the Ancient. The fortification's gonna be expended. No buyback from the Alchemist. It's one second left until he's back online. BKB still available. Drop the Chrono, though. He's clicking away on the Ancient. The Epicenter being channeled. 3 3, though. They fight Fada. FY goes down. Buyback as well. They need to hold this for as long as possible. Ace just jumping around because he could do that. Well stunned up. He's going for the clicks. It's getting low. It's dead. And take the game with the Rapier dropped from Weaver. Finishing off. What a crazy game.